Hey everybody, good morning or good afternoon, good evening, depending on whatever part of the world that you're in. <laughs> Don Machine here in the Manzana Mountains of New Mexico, here in the good old USA. And I'm uh, going to start out today with an original, and uh, I wrote this back in 2011. Uh, anyway, it was on my uh, Keeping It Clean in the Country album, and also my favorite with the Savory album, both. So <laughs> we're going to give it a whirl. It's been a while since I've done this, though. But it's called It Had Better Be Right. If what I believe it's going to rescue me, it better be right. What I believe in is gonna set me free, it better be right. If what I believe in determines where I'll spend eternity, it better be right, it better be right, it better be right for all eternity. I decided many years ago, better listen to what I've been told. About the man Jesus walked this earth till he was 33 years old. Born of the Virgin Mary, the burden of our sins he did carry. He took the loss, he bore it all the way to Calvary's cross. If what I believe is gonna rescue me, it better be right. What I believe in's gonna set me free, it better be right. If what I believe in determines where I spend eternity, it better be right, it better be right, it better be right for all eternity. The burden of our sin he did carry to Calvary's cross. They buried him in the tomb, but to their surprise it was their loss. It didn't end with the cross, because he came to save the lost. Rose from the dead, he rose above where he reigns forevermore. If what I believe it's gonna rescue me, it better be right. What I believe in's gonna set me free, it better be right. If what I believe in determines where I'll spend eternity, it better be right, it better be right, it better be right for all eternity. If you want to go to heaven, you'll listen to the words of the sun. If you're smart, You'll ask Jesus Christ into your heart Because eternity is just way too long to be wrong How time does fly, we all need Jesus by our side If what I believe is gonna rescue me, it better be right what I believe it's gonna set me free, it better be right. If what I believe in determines where I'll spend eternity, it better be right, it better be right, it better be right for all eternity. If what I believe is gonna rescue me, it better be right. That's right. That's right. What we believe in uh, is very important, that's for sure. And uh, anyway, uh, welcome. Welcome to uh, my uh, devotional time here. And uh, I just share whatever's on my heart from uh, week to week, uh, sometimes out of my uh, daily devotions and, and, you know, sometimes out of other things. Um, I've got a poem here I'm going to share with you today, along with some scripture. And um, if you've been following me for a while, you knew that I was the caretaker for my mom. I took care of her for quite a while. And uh, she uh, finally passed at over 100 years old on August uh, 3rd, on the evening of August 3rd this year when uh, my sister Joanne and I were with her. And, and 
anyway, uh, it was time, and she had assured me a few weeks before then that she was ready, and, and you know, so, uh, uh, but, it, you know, it was time. We, we miss her, and uh, we hated to lose her, but I know she's with the Lord. She wrote this poem, and I just found this recently. Uh, just a week or so ago, we found this, and, and she entitled it, So Long. And uh, it's along the idea that, uh, you know, life is, is short, and uh, we just need to make the best of it day by day, really. Here's what she wrote. She said, I live in the mountains, sometimes in a cloud, with eagles and blue jays and coyotes so loud. My soul is in transit from birth to the grave, and I hope to enhance it with mirth and with sage. Since I'm only here for a little while, I sure hope I can make other souls smile. And she did, by the way. And brighten their life from their toils and their strife. A thing sorely needed, but often unheeded. I have many blessings for which I give thanks to the, God, to the good Lord for overlooking all of my pranks. Love and caring, too, are my tickets, but I'm so far down the road, I had better get with it. So long. I'm on my way. I may not be here another day. <laughs> and uh, and uh, the bottom, she made a, a note on there about life and living. But, uh, you know, uh, in uh, Scripture, the Bible has you know, gives us quite a bit about, you know, to say about the importance of the brevity of life. And uh, we never know how long we'll be here. Now, for mom, she, she would have almost made it to 101. If she'd have made, lift, uh, made it to September, she would have been 101 years old. <laughs> but we don't have any guarantees of that. You know, we have no guarantees at all. Uh, I could be sitting here and poof, gone just like that. You know, you never know. And, uh, a lot of times you watch the news and we're seeing some of these young athletes are, are passing on at, uh, in their 20s and stuff. I, that's just, uh, you know, amazing. <laughs> but anyway, it happens. Anyway, in Psalm 39.4, the Bible says, Lord, make me know my end and what is the extent of my days? Let me know how transient I am. And then Job, we see in chapter 7, verse 6, he says, my days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle and come to an end without hope. First Chronicles 29, 15, for we are sojourners before you and tenants as all our fathers were. All our days on the earth are like a shadow and there is no hope. Well, thank God we have hope in Jesus Christ though. We do. And if you've accepted Jesus as your Savior and Lord, and uh, you allow him to reign and rule in your heart and life, then you know where you're going, and, and we do have hope. Um, anyway, uh, and then in Job 8, 9, he said, for we, for we are only of yesterday and know nothing, because our days on earth are as a shadow. And uh, then it, uh, in James chapter 4, verse 14, Yet you do not know what your life will be like tomorrow. You are just a vapor that appears for a while and then vanishes away. Sometimes when I've been uh, preaching in my sermons and I'll be dealing with a subject, I would take a match and just light it and hold it up in the air a minute and blow it out and watch the vapor of smoke as it's there for just a few seconds and then it disappears. Well, that's what our life is like in view of time and eternity and we don't know how much time we have you know methuselah made it to what 969 years well <laughs> nowadays if you make it uh you're you know out of 100 it's it's pretty good like mom did you know but anyway so uh, you know just the important thing of that is as we think of it uh, if you were to to die today do you know for certain where you would go do you know for certain that you would spend eternity with the lord jesus christ and if you don't know for sure, you know, eternity is too long to be wrong. And we're here for just so brief of a time. So I just want to uh, encourage you, you know, uh, to make sure, you know, make sure that you know for certain. And uh, if you're not sure, you know, pray. Ask God to forgive you of your sins and, 
And he and Jesus, you've heard me quote quite this quite often. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. There's no other way. No other way at all, you know. And uh, a lot of people try different things, but in you know, and, and we also in Ephesians uh, chapter two, eight, eight and nine it says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It's you know, it's it's uh, not of works, lest any man should boast. And so we can't earn it. We don't deserve it. It is a gift that we accept by faith. And I just trust that you're doing that. Uh, Father, we just thank you so much for being with us today. And, and uh, I just pray that uh, as people are, are viewing this today, that you would just be speaking to their hearts. And uh, those who've already accepted you and living for you, Lord, I, I thank you for each of them. And I just pray you'd give them special assurance through whatever trials that they may be going through that you're with them you're walking with them every day from now to eternity any that are that have not accepted you that are not saved lord i just pray you'd be speaking to them and showing them the importance of how again we're here for such a short time and we don't know when you're going to call us home any one of us any one of us and so i just pray for each of them and pray for your saving and sanctifying love mercy and grace at work in each heart and life we bless you lord we love you we praise you in the precious name of jesus amen hey everybody go with god and he'll go with you um i want to ask you if you're watching this on youtube and you like it would you uh, hit the like thing and also subscribe to my youtube channel okay like and subscribe i would appreciate it and then do something nice for somebody today. Get a hold of them and just share a little loving on them. God will bless you for it. He really will. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care now.